frankly, talking about Biniam Germay and the significance of what this lad has done for world cycling, Sean, not just for his home country of Eritrea. The first Eritrean to win a stage, the second Eritrean to win a stage, the third Eritrean to win a stage, and the first to bring the green jersey back home again. And it must be said, the first black African to win a stage of the Tour de France. This matters, doesn't it? Well, it's massive, and, uh, you know, we heard about him when he started cycling, and, uh, you know, his father was a cyclist, and then, you know, he was looking at the race, and he, he talked about it in some of the interviews we had during the race, where he was watching this, and he dreamt of coming to the Tour de France. And he just said coming to the front, not at all winning stages, winning the green jersey. And here he is. And, you know, this is going to be a big, big one for cycling because it's another nation not, you know, known for its cycling powers. And that is the great thing, I think, for cycling. It's going to just make it so popular there. I mean, it's not known for its cycling powers, but it's known for its cycling passion. It is, I believe, the number one sport in Eritrea. It was uh, long under the uh, rule of the Italians, and it looks like half of Eritrea have made it to Nice. I love this. He was a mountain biker originally. He was the national champion, represented Eritrea at the African Championships, where he was spotted by the UCI, taken to Switzerland to hone his talent, but that passion was formed back home in Eritrea. And also a rider who has known the sacrifices of professional cycling. As he was riding in Europe, he had a wife and a young child back home having to be separated from them, dealing with the visa issues of travel and living and working over here. They have now settled in Nice and we're on hand today to help him celebrate. The joy is just beautiful, Robbie, isn't I it? I love that the team were included there. That was his teammates. I mean, they all finished their time trials, got showered and changed. We're up there to share the moment with Benny. And I think that is really, really nice. Uh, we know that Mark Cavendish is now Sir Mark Cavendish. I wonder in Eritrea, what is <laughs> the... Where, where do they go with this? Is it King Benny? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, I, I think that would stick as a moniker anyway. I think we can call him King Vinny for now. He's certainly earned it. What an absolutely beautiful victory in the green jersey competition.